Hi, very short video today because I have a quick tip that I cannot believe I wasn't using until last night when I figured it out and finally implemented it. This is about keyboard shortcuts and it's something um, that was prompted by a tweet I saw. It was between like colorists working in Resolve, very professional people. <laughs> but I saw a comment, got me thinking, I've implemented it, I like it a lot and I wanna show it to all of you. But first I need to communicate why this new keyboard shortcut is so helpful. And that's because your mouse is slow. I know a lot of you, especially if you're coming from like a gaming realm and you're used to comparing a controller with mouse and keyboard, a mouse and keyboard is very fast, especially a first person shooter or anything like that. Your mouse, you can get where you want very quickly. But when you're editing video like in DaVinci Resolve, your mouse is actually very slow. There are so many different windows and menus that you need to click through to find the exact thing you want as much as possible. If you can replace several mouse clicks with one keyboard shortcut, it can add up so quickly and save you a ton of time. So let me show you what I did. I've got an open timeline in Resolve here with several different fusion generators. Some of them are, are some of the free included ones. Some of them are ones I've made like this bouncing DVD logo or this D&D uh, &D health bar preset that I haven't made a video about yet uh, or Proto. So I'm just gonna select this first one and open it up in the fusion page. Here you could work on your effect, do all the other stuff you do in fusion. But uh, our first little tip here, if you don't know, um, inside Fusion, you have this clips option up here. You click that and you will see all the different Fusion compositions on your timeline. That's super helpful, especially if you're hopping between different versions or just different iterations or completely different clips. It can take a bit of time to uh, load back into the edit page, select a different comp and then load into Fusion. But here, um, you could just click around and hop right to another composition. Here I'm over to Proto. Um, one more over to just this little dot that flies around the screen. Cool. But it does take up a bit of screen real estate here. Um, importantly, right over this area for your node tree. So even if you are using, so even if you are using this a bit, you will probably find yourself coming all the way up um, to check that off when you don't need it to get that screen space back. But oh, look at that. You got to drag your mouse all the way to the top of the screen and then click, oh, then come down and click around, then go all the way back and click it off. Ugh. When you could just use a keyboard shortcut. My mouse is down here working in the nodes. If I want to jump around, I can click my keyboard shortcut. And when I'm done, I can just click that and it's gone. But if I am in this composition and this ball is bouncing around and I've noticed, oh no, all these keyframes are super linear. I want to change those. I want to ease those a bit. I could come all the way up here into this other corner, click spline, opens up this window. I could select that node and see, uh, check again on displacement, see all of what I'm working with. And then when I'm done with that, I would have to come all the way back up to spline, click that to remove, or I could select that node I want and click a keyboard shortcut and it's gone. It's back and it's gone. And now clips are there. Now they're gone. Now clips and spline. And spline's gone and clips gone. Important side note, in case one of you run up into it, um, you did notice that I had nothing in the spline viewer at first and when nothing was selected. And that is because in these three dots, I had show only selected tool. If you uncheck that, it will show you um, all your nodes in your composition that have keyframes on them. It's just uh, good to know depending on how uh, cluttered or clean you want your work area. But I could take all of these and just click F to flatten them or S to smooth, um, ooh, which on displace does some very different things, but I'm gonna do F because I know that's what I like. That'll slow down the motion, nice and snappy, in and out, cool. If you're doing a lot of stuff in Fusion or really any of the pages, setting custom key bindings um, for these big panels, uh, I think could save you a lot of time. I'm already using this um, and it feels fast. It feels really nice. And even just that second or two of dragging my mouse up, making sure I'm over the right thing, um, eliminating that feels really good. Let me show you where you have to go to set this up for yourself. You wanna come up to DaVinci Resolve Keyboard Customization. I really like this menu. You can click around and see what different uh, key bindings do, especially when you toggle on shift or all of this. I like it a lot. But on this right side, you wanna come down inside application, you have workspace. You click that and inside workspace, you have show panel in workspace. You open that up and here you have all the different panels across the different workspaces. By default, I believe the only one here is this light box here. That'll be over on the color page, but here you have all the different panels, like for the edit page, the fusion image color, uh, fair light, it's, it's pretty cool. And you can see the only other two I've currently set are for clips, which is N, and down spline, which is M. Now this is a little important to know, uh, something like clips. If I uh, click N, you'll see that is uh, clips here, but also 
snapping. So this one keyboard shortcut can do stuff across different windows. And Clips even is pretty special because uh, if I am Fusion, I can open up Clips with N, but also the uh, color page has a Clips line here, which now I can toggle off there as well. But if I go to uh, the Fairlight page, now that keyboard shortcut is toggling on snapping, which will also function that way on the edit page. But back in keyboard shortcuts, workspace, show panels, I have Clips set to N, and spline set to M. So when I have my mouse on my keyboard, my thumb is right on that space bar and right above that is those N and M keys. It feels really nice. Of course, these can be completely customized. Set these to whatever you want or mess around with other panels. Something like, I know I probably don't wanna to toggle this off, but something like nose, just to show you. If you click, you will start to see a little box and then you click that, you'll get this outline and then you can press whatever you want here. Like if I have B, um, it didn't give me a warning, so I believe I'm pretty good to go. I can click save, and if I hop back into the Fusion page and I click B, it will toggle on and off my entire nodes viewer, which I don't normally want, but maybe if I'm doing some like really extreme uh, spline viewer stuff, that'll come in handy. Personally, I'm gonna experiment with this a lot more, find what really works for me. Although even for the, just those two panels in the Fusion page, I already like this a lot. That original Twitter thread I got inspired by was talking about how some people really want Resolve to bring in like the advanced uh, customization of panels like in Premiere or something else. But a lot of professional colorists were defending the decision of Resolve and especially with a tool like this um, where you can quickly toggle on and off windows so you don't need everything on screen all of the time. If you need a specific tool, you can just bring it up and then send it away. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.